Welcome back to Seville, everyone! Finally, we're gonna win this. Okay, we're gonna just... Casually... Chalk it's age low. <gasps> she almost said... <laughs> I just had a delightfully evil idea. That should give my role as moderator a little more... Influence! <laughs> Here we go. Now then. Nope, come on. Hello! Show well you away. Nah, ho ho ho. I mean, oops. She can fly. Mmm. Okay, but I mean, as long as HO is gone, right? I think we're pretty safe. Oh, she's back. Okay. One more round of well now on Of course, I analyzed each candidate's hair and HLO's exit through the trap door messed her hair up something atrocious and unforgivable, faux pas. I don't like good fairy's hair either, so I vote for Lily. Wonderful. I mean, I take note of that in my role as a neutral moderator. Honored ambassador of the heroes, who would you vote for? Agelow just wasn't convincing in this show. However, I found Lily's childish manner interesting. I vote for her. Excellent. Now, on to our third juror, the Black Knight. For whom do you vote? Well, you were all absolutely terrible. All three of you. I've seen frogs with more charisma than you have, Agelo. That exit through the trapdoor was simply pitiful. Normally, I would vote for Lily, but that green cape is just sickening. I hate green. That's why I, against my better judgment, vote for the good fairy. Interesting. Since the jury couldn't come to a clear decision, the winner is Agelo. I won! Oh my I'm gosh. I'm so happy. I I'd like to thank. Of course, I never. That was it for this round of Showstar. Thanks for joining us. Okay, so if the jury isn't. don't come to one conclusion. H. Love wins. So we have to make the whole fairy green. Because he doesn't like green. Alright. Cool. We're gonna break every viewer record. Can I just splash it on her? Ending, but no. Ah. I don't think so. Why? I don't know. I'm just so talented, <clears throat> so smart, so gorgeous, and oh, so much more. Why, hello, Munchkin. Nice to see you. Okay. Um How do we Oh, can we just No. Aww. Show Star will be a hit. A super hit. A mega hit. Um Maybe we should just forget that as long as someone is watching us. I hope the show is a hit. I don't think so. No. Oh, come on. Okay. Mm, no. That's just no good. Uh, show Star will send my career to new heights. How is that supposed to help? I don't know. Not a good idea. Not a good idea. 
I don't think so. Atro will rock. Why? We know how to get H Law out of the picture, but we need the good fairy to be what he doesn't like. And he doesn't like the green. How this show we... will be the greatest hit since. Well, since the greatest hit! Wait, grapes? The Wait a minute. Is dead. Wait a minute, I can take grapes. Hey, those are mine. Hands off. Okay. Hmm. Well, there are grapes there. I don't think so. I don't think we really need to repeat that. Okay. Come on. How do I get the grapes, though? I don't think so. I'm not going to do that. No. Hmm. Well, I mean, she did say something about... Maybe we should just forget that as long as someone is watching us. Which means that we want to do it if someone's not watching us? I'm guessing. Alright, maybe while we're doing the show then. Hello again! Show stuff. Welcome. You are away. Here we go, no one's gonna see us now. Oh, <gasps> paint the column green. Oh, and because she's leaning against it. I wanna see her fly again, that was fun. Yeah, yeah, okay, we know, we know, we know. One more right now, of course, I am H Lose. One on a age X. Well. I've normal interest. I of course that was it. There we go. And now she has apparently rolled herself in the column. Okay. Hello again. Show welcome you. Away. Wanna see her fly? Also makes her leave faster. Alright, Lily. One more round of well now, honorable Jer. Of course, I analyzed each candidate's hair, and surprise, surprise, none of them can even come close to my own magnificent head of hair. Agelo's exit through the trapdoor messed her hair up something atrocious, an unforgivable faux pas. I don't like the good fairy's hair either, so I vote for Lily. Wonderful. I mean, I take note of that in my role as a neutral moderator. Honored ambassador of the heroes, who would you vote for? Agelo just wasn't convincing in this show. However, I found Lily's childish manner interesting. I vote for her. Excellent. Now on to our third juror, the Black Knight. For whom do you vote? Well, you were all absolutely terrible, all three of you. I've seen frogs with more charisma than you have, Agelo. That exit through the trapdoor was simply pitiful. And the green used in Lily's cape is disgusting. But the good fairy's green dress is even worse. 
That's why I vote for Lily. For better or worse. Outstanding. That makes it a clear decision for Lily. I won? Wow. Thank you so much. I lost? No way. I am the one, the only Agelo. No one beats me. Well, rules are rules. You lost. L-O-S-T. This is my show! And I don't lose to a little girl in my own show. It's a fraud. A put-up job. Show Star is totally ridiculous if I don't win it. The show is cancelled. Forever. You're all fired. Out. Out. No! I think that's about it for Show Star. Your contract isn't worth much now, is it? Doesn't look like it. So what was that about an election? You have to come to the council election right away to vote for Gwendolyn. For Gwendolyn? I was going to vote for Basilius. But seeing as it's you, okay, so be it. Many, many thanks. My pleasure, my dear. I'll just be on my way then. Till next time. Oh, yeah. Hey, I think she likes you. So? What do you mean by that? Um, nothing. It's okay. Let's round up the other council members so we can help that useless Gwendolyn onto my throne before we kick Basilius's butt. Sounds like a great plan. Let's go. <laughs> I like how he how he keeps implying that the heroine is like lesbian or bi or pan or something. If she's interested in in girls. Awesome. Or like is queer. Um, is there anything else fun here? No, I don't think so. We have grapes now. I guess that's good. Alright, now we're here. So mm, no. That's just how is not the I don't think why? I don't think so. No. That's just no good. How is that supposed Not the good I- I don't think so. Why? I don't think so. Okay, I'm just trying. Alright, well we have one. Um, that's good. We have three more to get our hands on. We need money. We need to get that out of the way. We need to get into the dwarf somehow. Seriously. Maybe we should disturb their gold balance thing. I'm I'm thinking that's probably what we need what we want to do. Luxeville? Ha! Huh. We need to get past that troll, I think. I don't think he's gonna say anything new, is he? Mm. Nice to- oh. Hey you! Do I have a job for you? Uh. So, isn't that for you? It doesn't say what it's about. I'm not gonna do that. I want to know what it's all about first. Good idea. I've never been... I'd say... Alright. Oh, really big animals are really afraid of really small animals, really. I read something about elephants. He's a troll, not an animal. I think he'd consider something like that more as a snack than anything else. Alright. Uh, well, we need to know what the job is about. Which means that we need to get the secretary to... 
Oh yeah, but now we're on the outside of of a Ferropolitan. We're famous. I said, excuse me. I said, I'm busy. Well, excuse me. Coffee. Certainly nothing to be said against that. I myself enjoy a cup every morning while I dream up new dirty tricks to play. <laughs> Chuck the plant. Stamp. Take stamp. Uh, I'd better leave that right what it is. That secretary would notice right away. For a change. I'm afraid I can't do that as long as this irritating four eyes is in my way. A lot of boring magazines and papers. What have we here? The new Ferropolitan, the yes. I said, ex I said, I'm busy. Excuse me. I'm on the. We're on the cover of Ferropolitan. Like, drop your attitude, honey. Take mine instead. Tempting, but no. No. Wow, an interview with Agelo about Showstar. I bet that's really interesting. Not a good idea. I don't think so. I'm not going to do that. I should hang on. Oh, wait a minute. We, we can wake him up. Some we can wake him up. Maybe he can tell us what the job is about. I don't think so. No. No. Mm, no. That's just no good. How is that? Not. The... I don't. Why? I don't think so. Three to good home, small elephant with big ear. No. Hmm. I really thought that was gonna help. Make her look up. Halt! Where do you think you're going? I just wanted to use the elevator here. You can't. I decide who can use the elevator. <gasps> yes. And you? Wait a minute. Yes. You're Lily, the show star winner. Of course. I just read an article about you. Yes, I did win that. This is incredible. If I had girlfriends, I'd call them right away. A star like you can go wherever she wants. Just take the elevator up. Sorry, but your grandfather will have to wait down here. Grandfather? Huh? But I'm... It's okay, Grandad. You wait down here. I'll be... Back in a jiffy. <laughs> hmm, grandfather, my sweet patootie. I've the time of my life. Once I'm back in power. <laughs> yeah, that that we had just had to make her look up, of course. Mm-hmm. So the three wacker three thousand is in it. That gives me that impression. We should send a technician, no matter what else we may do. That would be best. We'll send a probe team in to evaluate the dam. A big pile of gold. The firm is obviously doing well. By Owler's greedy glance. That's our personal fortune, which we single-handedly embeth earned through our devoted service to the firm. Meanwhile, we have bigger problems. A gold diploma. The receiver showed the greatest greed while successfully raking in money. That's terrible. Can we compensate? One of those newfangled portable telephones. I hear the radiation is so strong it turns you into a pile of ashes within 10 seconds. By Owler's loophole, that still has to be proven. Then turn it on and we can test it. Um, I don't have time right now. Weird thing. If I knew what that was, I'd say it looks like some kind of ray gun. That's the new Bulldozo 2000. Hmm. And what does it do? Mm. Mm. Actually, it just makes noise. Lots of noise. Uh -huh. That will be hard. A diploma <clears throat> from Money Grubber University. 
pass with very greedy. I recommend that we expand our field of op- A huge chest full of gold. Hands off! That's company property. For example, we could run our machines on rapeseed oil from now on. Goodbye, Morrigan splitting axe. Hands off before I chop them off. Okay, okay. <laughs> that way we can introduce a food shortage, which will in turn cause price... The dwarf was operating the logging machine earlier. By Mordant Crowfeet! The speaking apparatus is off limits to all but trained personnel. Okay, okay. If we can keep the net asset value for... Don't bother us. We're in the middle of an important meeting. How did you get up here anyway? It doesn't matter. Please try to be quiet on your way out. Agenda. Goal. Take over the world. First item. Position company as good firm. Second item. Offer the public various search services such as, for example, the cheapest price for an object or detailed maps. Third item. Save all search queries and use them to create a profile of each user. Fourth item. Stifle competition at all costs. Sixth item. Use collected data to blackmail citizenry. This will consolidate and secure our power base and deliver world rule into our hands. Note, depending on phase of plan, critics will be confronted with either point one or point five above. Hey, that's our secret plan. Oh, sorry. I'm presuming that was, um... Does that mean that we continue to hold the clearance of the Elven Woods as a uh, long-term goal? Reference to Google. Naturally, uh, that's our main goal. The payout joke. ration only works once we've hit a clearance of 47.22%, which would allow us to attain a DCF value of 30.17 matches per day. We could place Dwarves Inc. on the new market while simultaneously starting an offer on the old market to push the buyout. Good move. That would limit the losses incurred through this clearing thing, and we can use the fresh capital for other projects. I suggest we buy the waste disposal service and then fire everyone. Once the garbage starts piling up, the price for its disposal should skyrocket. I've already been through that once somewhere else. But that'll bring negative publicity. We'll just buy ourselves a politician to ensure that we get a monopoly on postal services. Then we charge whatever we want. We could enter the real estate... An oversized potted plant. What every meeting room needs. I'm having mm, our technicians okay. look into reprocessing rotten meat. Then we could retail it again. I have another idea. We, we make can't. sure that the ecologists in neighbor country Arnis come to power. As soon as they've implemented their plan to stop producing energy from fossil fuels, they'll be forced to import them from us. And we... We can dictate the price. I think we should just make a computer game. Yes. Wow, that is absolutely the best idea so far. Should just exactly. make a computer game. We should, um, blah. Blah. Blah, blah. Blah, blah. Blah, <laughs> blah, blah. <laughs> they have blah, run blah, out of blah. things to say. Blah. Blah. Okay. Blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. 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 Hello. I'm here about the employment ad. The employment ad? Wonderful, you're our first applicant. True, up until now, no one has applied for the position. Then my owl has itchy well... nose. Seeing as how there are no other applicants, you're hired. Great! <laughs> <clears throat> Say, what kind of work is it? What a question. You start out as a trainee. We're currently expanding into real estate, where we work as agents. However, we have important things to discuss here, so you'll be taking that over on your own. Just ask me about the different objects we have on offer once you're ready. Okay. So the tree whackers we are our trade. What do you have that you want me to sell for you? I'll just list them off for you. The first object is a dreamy little castle situated in the exotic Shakin Mountains, home to almost daily earthquakes. 
The second object is a dreamy island located amidst the beautiful uh, shark-infested waters of the coast of Ferianis. The third object on offer is a dark, worn-out, dank old dwarven mine located on Newby Island. The fourth object is a cosy little house uh, situated on the edge of a chasm known as Death Gorge. I will take the old mine on Newby Island. I'll take the old mine on Newby Island. Excellent. The old mine really needs some urgent repairs, so it's a dream for the home handyman. On the other hand, it's dark and there's loads of space. And of course, it can be expanded at will. Perfect. Then try to dump, uh, I mean, try to find a buyer for the object. I'll give it my best try. Already have one. Then Already have a buyer. Technician. We should send a technician, no matter what else we may do. That would be best. We'll send a probe team in to evaluate the damage. Already Meanwhile, have a buyer. we have bigger problems. The decline in the lumber business has led to a... Pretty sure they're making an, or an amazing dungeon. Mm hmm. Hey, dude, we fixed. I fixed your dungeon problem. The ambience is okay. That's exactly what I was looking for. I'll take it. Wonderful, wonderful. Here, you can have it back now. Excellent. Now, I assume you'll get your backside over to the election. Not so fast. I'm not going anywhere until the dwarves have stamped the contract for me. Oh, I thought that went too easily. Oh, okay. It's not that big a problem. Then we'll just run back on over to the dwarfs. Maybe you should have talked to him first about the whole thing? Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> oh. We have to- Fine. Okay, never mind. Now I understand why that uh, get out of here button is there, because sometimes it's really hard to get out of places. Uh, there, dwarfs. She does, I think she has the, um, stamp. I'm gonna go up and talk to them up there anyways. An article claim. That's terrible. Can we compensate using a return value financial interest point? That will pass. Hello. I managed to sell the property on Newby Island. <laughs> what? This old thing? That's fantastic! That thing's been a thorn in our side for ages because we couldn't find a buyer. By Morrigan's persuasiveness, I would never have dreamt anyone would be able to sell that thing. Wonderful! The contract just has to be stamped and then I can return it to the customer. Yes, yes, of course. <laughs> Give it to the secretary downstairs and she'll take care of the formalities. But now we come to a much more joyous event. Yes? I hereby promote you to management assistant. Great! And what do I do now? You have wide-ranging powers. For example, you can use the speaking apparatus. <gasps> uh-huh. And what for? Well, uh, you can have someone bring us coffee. Oh, great idea. My cup is already empty anyway. Coffee? Oh, yes. And you have to acquire some new properties for us. We plan on entering the holiday sector soon. We want you to go look at holiday destinations and decide whether or not they're of interest to us. And to that end, we'll give you a company travel account for Dr. <gasps> C's travel agency. Yes! And of course, the company covers all expenses on the trip. Ooh, thank you very mm -hmm. much. Mm -hmm. ah, it's just occurred to me that we now have no trainee, which means no sales agent. True, that is a bit of a dilemma. Ha! Ah, I have it. Assistant, find us a new trainee. Here's the job description. Mm-hmm. I can do that. But, and mm -hmm. don't forget our coffee. 
Okay, now there's so much to do. What? Yes. Okay. I recommend that we expand Which is why? the field of operations in order to help offset the effects of market fluctuations. Okay, quite worse. Now we're gonna take a break and we're gonna do all these things next in next episode. We have so many items in our inventory. There's lots of different things we can do. And just yeah. I love how the dwarfs are like a joke on like corporations, big corporations and stuff. Anyway, thank y'all very much for watching. Hope you're enjoying Seville. I know I am. And I'll see y'all later.